This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Greg, I see you in chat. Where are you, you <laughs> motherfucker? Yeah, you piece of shit. You some bitch. Yeah. Welcome to uh, openly hostile opinions. Your government will shut down, but we won't. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, had that planned all day. I'm so happy. <laughs> so hey, our band this week uh, is a band called Mawcore. M A W C O R E. I think they're pretty cool. They remind me of a not shitty Coheed and Cambria. <laughs> it's like that one song, Welcome Home, that's really, really good, which is the only thing in their catalog that's worth a shit. It's like all of their songs sound like that one. Yeah, I, I like kind of rushy. I like them because they don't sing like Coheed and Cambria. I hate, I love Coheed and Cambria's music, but their singer, oh, I, I can't stand them. I love when <laughs> they get real, like, a little medley, a little prog rocky, but yeah. I hate when they get all fucking poppy. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't even mind pop. I just... I, I can't get past Claudio Sanchez's nah. I cry <laughs> out I, But you I, know what I love Getty Lee Figure that <laughs> shit out I, I don't like pop either I prefer soda uh, <laughs> But in, Greg says he's about to go to work Like a real man Oh that's right You started having to go earlier to work Oh that sucks Fuck I forgot about that And uh, after that he's gonna start taking steroids again Like a real man <laughs> <laughs> And shrinking his testicles like a, <laughs> like a real man yeah, that's uh, pretty funny. <laughs> so uh, the band wanted me to tell you a couple of things. Uh, they got a, uh, a a third EP coming out in a few weeks, and they have a new video in the works. Uh, they got a few shows and festivals coming up as well. So if you enjoyed what they have going on, check them out at mawcore.com. That's M-A-W-C-O-R-E.com. And uh, check them out. You can also follow them on Twitter at mawcore, too. I'm sure they'll be tweeting the happenings. Um like I said, I kind of dig their shit. And you can go right there and listen to their music for free. It's all They stream it right there on their website. So This shit is so laggy. Well, you're it's the your tech shitty guy. computer. You're the tech guy, Greg. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, it's your job to fix this. It looks fine on my end. I don't know. I'm, I'm waving my yeah, arms. I'm not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not getting lag here either. And we're, all, we're watching ourselves on, on Periscope. So. Your, your eyes are probably shaking from all the heroin, Greg. <laughs> Bruno, what's up? What's up, man? How are you doing? Uh, Do you take one for the team and fuck the wife yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing much, Bruno. Just uh, enjoying the the heat wave that we're getting. Uh, Shelm says hers is fucked up, too. I have no idea. It looks great on our end. Maybe jump out of the room, jump back in again, and see what happens. Yeah. That's the best thing I can suggest. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, it was like fucking eight degrees here for like three weeks, and finally it's starting to warm up a little bit. I think uh, my phone says 30-something. Yeah. Um, let me see here, 38 degrees, so that's like a fucking heat wave. <laughs> Br Bruno says nope. Still, nope. still didn't climb. A still haven't done it yet, man. Still didn't climb on Miss Piggy. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know how you can have hey, sex, uh, man. Sex is great. And I'm, I don't even consider myself a horny person. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Hey, so what's uh, green and smells like bacon? Ah, uh, Kermit's fingers. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? That I, just, is, I never it. heard that before, but I was just like, Kermit the Frog's fingers. Sounds like a Muppet L joke. Long green and smells like bacon. Kermit <laughs> the Frog's fingers, yep. Uh, sounds like a Muppet joke. I, I just, actually, uh, Megan texted me today a very racist joke, and uh, I got that one, too. She goes, you're horrible. I'm like, you're the one that asked me it. <laughs> yeah, but it's the fact you didn't need prompting to know. <laughs> I know. I was like, right away, I was like, oh, I know this one. Speaking of Muppets, by the way, it's not really a Muppet, but it's another puppet type thing. I just had to, I only have one story to share, but it's a good one. I have a couple I want to talk about. So. That's, that's good. I, I only got one, and I think it was good enough to, like, complete my, <laughs> I can't with fat chicks. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Does she know you feel this way? I really want to know. A anyway, 
I'm getting off track yeah, here. I, I feel think... like I, I'm sorry, but I, I feel like we should get Bruno and his wife on here and interview. Him. <laughs> we we need to make that happen one of these days. <laughs> like we, we got to figure out what the what the chaos we're we're gonna be switching switching software, so we should be able to start like you know using yeah. Skype and shit again. But anyway, uh, so I wanted to tell you this. So everybody remembers Barney the dinosaur, right? How can you not, man? He taught us about love and how much it sucks. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, well, this just fucking ruins everybody's childhood right here, brother. Uh, a brother. <laughs> brother. Of course she does. Jesus Christ, Bruno. Uh, Megan yeah, says lo- fat chicks need love, too. Yeah, I loved Barney, especially because every episode they at least had to have one kid in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, apparently the man who played Barney the Dinosaur named J- David Joyner now is a tantric sex massage therapist and guru spiritual healer. Why? What do you mean tantric? What was that like? Some kind of fucking... you know, like the kind of sex that Sting does, where you get real close to the edge and keep oh, going like for fucking days and hours, fixation and all that crazy bullshit. No, is no, 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 no. It's it edging. Oh, edging. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Edging. For a long I, time. Like, I, I, I know. I, I don't understand I, it. Either. I don't understand it either. Like, why would you want to be teased to have an orgasm? Like, I want that shit fucking flying like the challenger and exploding in the air like i don't want that fucking like oh i don't i don't understand it <laughs> <laughs> i know i've got issues i'm sorry i need help <laughs> of course barney's a sex addict i fucking knew it see greg this is why you should be here yeah you should say that should have said that into the microphone stop doing coke and getting the ice cube stuck in your nose <laughs> asshole <laughs> <Doing coke. laughs> yeah this That's doesn't good. surprise me at all it's like uh you know if you ever watched barney when you were younger you know there was some sick shit going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. Like, I don't know what kind of fucking Satanist dreamed up that show, but it was god awful. It was like Blue's Clues. Well, I gotta, I gotta read some of this. Shit. I'm just gonna read it verbatim from the article. It's from Vice. If you guys want to look up the article yourself and just you know avoid our show entirely, like everybody else <laughs> seems to want to do. But listen, to this a full session with tantra massage uh, specialist and spiritual healer David Joyner lasts three to four hours and costs three hundred and fifty dollars. For that price, female clients, the only kind he accepts, can expect, <laughs> <laughs> can expect to receive a ritual bath, chakra balancing, and a massage. Also on the menu, cosmic mind-blowing orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> the latter can be achieved through massage alone, but the goal of a session is to fully release a woman's blocked energy. Oh my God. Listen to this. Apparently, by the way, these, these spiritual yogi type people have different names for a uh, penis and a vagina. What's up, okay. Kenny? Uh... So listen to this. This is a quote from, from from Barney the Dinosaur himself. When the lingam, penis, and the yoni, <laughs> vagina, meet, there's a certain energy that takes place that hands on the body alone cannot create, says Joyner, 54, whose yogi-like presence, presence is often accompanied by a warm smile when we meet for the first of several interviews. Even through G-spot massage, it's still not the same energy that flows. So basically, dude is pretty much saying... Yeah, I, I, I fuck people, you know. <laughs> I, I fuck people for money. It's 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 But it's massage. See the important question here though is 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 he wearing the Barney suit while he's doing it? I, I, would, I, would, I pay, would love it. I would slap down an extra hundred and I'm like, put the fucking Barney suit on. <laughs> Bring the kid in with the wheelchair, I want him to watch. <laughs> this is, today Joiner's tantric massage practice boasts thirty clients or goddesses as he calls them. Oh and he unblocks the energy for two to four women a week. It reminds me he, of the fucking Indian. From, yes, uh, yes, from, from King uh, of the Hill. From King of the Hill. John Redcord. Yeah, I was John just Redcord. getting there. I couldn't remember. I was his just name. gonna get there. Yeah, let me get rid of that headache for you. <laughs> oh, penis in you. You remember that? You remember that episode when uh, <laughs> uh, Peggy goes over to have have John yeah, Redcord? That one was just on. That was on like a week ago, I'd say, or something like that. Uh, Tuffy says, "Hey, come farts." Uh, Bruno says, do you guys get paid for this show? No, not really, dude. Um, <laughs> not really. We get like $5 an episode right now. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to help us out, though, hey, here's a plug. <laughs> you can uh, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. And for as little as a dollar a month, you get absolutely nothing because I haven't had time to do the after party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you'll get undying affection and love. We make most of our money through uh, Patreon, and that's just if it, people it, like what they see, they can donate. Um, we get a little bit from advertising. I don't think I mean, to be honest. Honest, none of it has gone into our pockets. It's gone into like the hosting yeah. fees for the website. It's gone into a new uh, a new soundboard thing. Yeah, a motherboard blue in our computer. We had to redo that. Uh, just a bunch of 
We yeah, it's it's not like we make it. We don't even have enough money to cover the beer, which is why we still don't have beer. Yeah, we we're probably just, won't have beer anytime soon. Yeah, we're poor as fuck, and I've been doing things to my body that I'm not proud of for money. But hey, whatever. <laughs> well, apparently, so is uh, Marnie the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, no, I just find that funny, dude. And and that's the thing. Like a lot of these kids' TV shows, you have to be some kind of fucked up to do. Look at Robin Williams. He, you know, he was our generation's funny man, and it's just like you know he had to been fucking crazy to be like that because he was great. Like, he was just fucking insane. Most of the craziest people are, like, great entertainers for some reason. I don't understand. Look at Wayne Gacy. He was a clown. Yeah. <laughs> and they think he's the um, – pretty sure he holds the record for the most confirmed kills as a serial killer. I don't know. But uh, listen to this. This is going to make uh, make uh, Royden out there sad, too. Uh, apparently, with this guy, graduated from – he graduated from college. He went to ITT Technical Institute. <laughs> So he probably does coke like Greg. Well, he went to the same place that Greg and I both went to college. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Of course, Greg actually finished. <laughs> yeah, and then he finished the lines of coke and his life went down. <laughs> man. Could you imagine doing coke with you with them nostrils? Oh, man. You'd be able to put an eight ball up uh, each side. Fuck coke, man. I hate coke. <laughs> I prefer Pepsi. But anyways. Uh... <laughs> coke is for when you want to get everything done forever. <laughs> As you massage me, put on the fucking suit, Barney. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I, I want him to do the Barney suit. And like I said, bring the fucking kid in the wheelchair, the Asian kid, the black kid, you know, because they can't stereotype or not leave anybody out. Oh, God, he's talking about the suit. The energy I brought up while in the costume is based on the foundation of Tantra, which is love. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So Everything stems, grows, and evolves from Yeah, he's thinking about Tantra. <laughs> so the whole time he was playing Barney and that show with all those kids, he was thinking about this sex fucking comic <laughs> yeah, suit think, bullshit. Thinking about releasing women's ah, energy. Jesus Christ. He's of course looking, he did. He's probably looking at the kid in the wheelchair and he's like, God, I'd love to edge that thing. Dude, that'd be, <laughs> like, that'd be like finding out Mr. Rogers was secretly a gimp. Yeah. That actually, that actually reminds me so uh big surprise i was playing wow <laughs> yeah what a, what a shock yeah and this kid he's in a wheelchair um and we always make fun of him for it i i don't know why we do because we're, we're going to hell i think but he uh uh he always makes fun of himself so i think that's why we do it but we were fighting this boss and we were wiping a bunch and he was getting really frustrated he's like if we kill this boss i'll suck all your dicks without hesitation this one guy jumped in and goes you can't get on your knees though <laughs> I fucking lost it, dude. I, I, and it happened right when we were fighting this boss. So I'm fucking like I have snot coming out of my nose. I'm and you're the so. healer, so you actually have to pay attention. <laughs> and it's just it was fucking horrible, dude. I was laughing, and we killed at that thing. <laughs> so, Did y'all get your blow, Joe? Yeah. Oh no. Is he but, booking? Is he booking flights? <laughs> but we were all like making fun of him though, because we're like, if you can't get on your knees, it's not like they'll get sore. You can't feel them. <laughs> it's just fucking god awful. <laughs> <laughs> like Joe Swanson. Yeah, then we're I, gonna go home and have sex. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go home and have what Joe calls sex. Uh, I like <laughs> the one time where he got uh, legs surgically attached, and uh, him and what's his wife's name, Bonnie. Bonnie just had sex, and she goes, "Oh, I forgot how big you were." And he goes, "I was about to say the same thing." <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember the, uh, the the one where Peter gets all old. The, the, it, it's a look into the future. It's part of the the movie uh, Stewie, the Untold Story, or whatever the fuck it was. Is that where Stewie time travels into yeah, the future? Yeah, yeah, oh, it's okay. in the future, and uh, <laughs> Joe has like these legs surgically uh, implanted in there. It's a woman's legs. Who wears short shorts? Oh, yeah. I wear shorts. I forgot about it. Yeah, he was wearing like high heels. And Fucking shit Patrick like that. Warburton <laughs> got the best voice ever. Patrick Warburton really does have the best. Oh voice. yeah, he's. I love him. Him and the guy that does Archer. Um, who else voice does he do? Uh, H. Ar John Benjamin is the guy who does Archer. Yeah, he does, does Archer. Uh, um, Bob Belcher from and... Bob Burgers. Um, me and Megan were just talking about this the other day. Uh, we watch Adult Swim a lot when we're just laying down chilling. I'm starting to really, really enjoy Bob's Burgers. I always liked it, but now I'm like really, really starting to like it because Bob's I'm, Burgers is funny as yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. You know the original concept for that show is uh, they were supposed to be cannibals and the burgers were supposed to be made out of humans. Are you serious? And they ended up scrapping that idea. But in the first episode or one of the first episodes, they have um, they kind of allude to that. Yeah, because uh, what's his name? The health the inspector. health inspector shuts him down yeah. for traces of human. Yeah, meat. okay, that makes sense then. Because I was wondering why that episode was so crazy. Yeah, that was it was supposed to be like the, Linda would be down there grinding up human body that's parts. Funny. They would get them from. The, that's why there's a funeral home next door. Yeah, because it was supposed to basically be a Sweeney Todd kind of thing going mm -hmm. on there. 
Yeah, I love that show. I never. Uh, it, it's the same thing as like uh, American Dad. I used to. Oh, I, I love American I Dad. Really it's my used, favorite show. I love Steve. <laughs> He's just so funny, dude. And <laughs> and I I never <laughs> knew the guy that does his voice is a pop singer. Yeah, so, yeah, Scott Grimes. Yeah, because I was always wondering why Steve just does these songs all the time, and it just makes sense that they incorporate that into the show, like that. That fucking episode where he's addicted to energy drinks and he's selling <laughs> fake like sports tickets. Yeah, you know? and every time they open a can, <laughs> it does a cat a, Yeah, the, the what? What the hell is it? That yeah, like the bobcat or whatever. Bobcat yeah. or something. Yeah, and then he's like doing cartwheels and he's like, "I'm a wagon wheel." And I just, I fucking love it, dude. That show is so fucking. That's uh, it's, it's my favorite show. It really is. It's, it's speaking of football, fuck the Patriots. <laughs> I stopped watching after the oh, after the fucking Randy oh. trouncing that the Steelers got. <laughs> I, yeah, the fucking Patriots won again. Jacksonville was beating the Patriots like twenty one to like seven or something. It was kicking their ass, and the Patriots came back. Um, the last two touchdowns the Patriots got were because of stupid fucking penalties. That's why, like, I, I made a little joke I posted on Facebook. I was like, you know, the, the Patriots' new striped uniforms look great tonight. <laughs> I'm just so sick of it. I hope that I would never think in my life that I would root for the fucking Eagles, but go Eagles. I hope you kill the Patriots. <laughs> uh, you know Destroy what? I'm going, I'm going hometown. We got to go Eagles. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny, though. Um, after the Eagles beat... Um, the Vikings, I guess the police department in Philadelphia knew this shit was going to happen. So they greased all the telephone poles with Crisco. <laughs> so people couldn't climb them. But I guess that didn't stop people. People were still climbing them. Um, some guy, there was, there was a bunch of videos on this. Philadelphia went crazy. Some guy stole a doom buggy and ran up the rocky steps with it. Um, some guy was chasing a, this one was funny as shit. He was, uh, if you ever been in a subway, there's pillars you know, going, and this guy's like cheering. He's all drunk and shit, and he's screaming at the people in the subway. Well, the people in the I thought subway you were was... talking about sandwiches there. At first. <laughs> no. uh, that guy, you know, uh, the people uh, start the subway starts taking off, and he's running with him. He's like, "Yeah, that's a boom!" Runs right into a fucking pole. <laughs> <laughs> that, so that's fun. not the one that'll take you to Hogwarts. <laughs> no, <laughs> there was a bunch of shit. There was people driving around on cars. Um, and I guess since what's their quarterback got injured, they were called the underdogs. So everyone at the sh uh, game wore a uh, mask of dogs. So like the, the whole st uh, city of Philadelphia, they were just running around in dog masks and shit. It's fucking. Crazy. I thought the dog pound was Cleveland. Yeah, I know. No one cares about were, Cleveland. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, uh, Cleveland doesn't even care yeah, about Cleveland. That's the funny thing about Cleveland. Like you know, they have. <laughs> Uh, they get the, basically the first uh, draft pick every year, and they still suck. <laughs> like, how is that possible, dude? I just well, it takes a, it takes a long time to build a team with one draft pick at yeah. a time. Um, I do want to talk about something though. Uh, we were talking about the missile crisis last week. Oh uh, boy! In Hawaii, if anyone lived under the rock, you know, uh, Hawaii sent out a ballistic missile <laughs> warning that one was coming in. By of course, Jay thinks of food. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> um, and he calls his girlfriend Boo. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say at least I don't call my wife Boo <laughs> or um, Bay. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you live under a rock, uh, oh, she's oh man, taste eighteen. You you uh, two need a room there, like, <laughs> you guys. Um, so yeah, last week a uh, ballistic missile warning went out. Someone hit the wrong button at Hawaii or something. Yeah, you know why it took him so long to to to, to announce that it was wrong. What the the uh, governor I want to say of Hawaii the governor couldn't, re couldn't remember his uh, Twitter password. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! I briefly saw alerts saw are set out by Twitter. Um, I think that 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 was their way to alert the American public. Like, uh, this is not a big. Our fucking president. <laughs> declares policy on Twitter. That's I'm true. pretty sure that's the way we do things now. Uh, yeah, that's true. But that's just that seems a little unstable. That that means that people at Twitter have to know like. Do, do they have the resources to find these codes and everything? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, that makes me uneasy. Man. I'm not saying that they launched the missiles with Twitter. I'm saying that they but were going to tell everybody that what was... What if they do? Like, what if we're one hashtag away from apocalypse? <laughs> we are one hashtag away from apocalypse. Yeah, you're right there. You're right there. I mean, <laughs> I mean they keep poking, uh, poking a nuclear power on Twitter. I'm pretty sure we are a hashtag yeah, away. That's pretty funny. Well... Um, I seen this like the day after, and I wish I would have seen it, but well, I'll bring it up this episode. So Pornhub, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I saw this. Yeah, Pornhub 
uh, you know, state by state, they have numbers that they cover on what, you know, people watch, how the traffic's doing and everything. Well, in Hawaii... Yeah, they love to share this information. Yeah, they do love to share this information. Um, around, uh, I think it was like 819, something like that, is when the warning went out, okay? And when the warning went out, their traffic dropped in like three minutes, uh, about 823 a.m., it dropped 77%. Like, everyone just got off the porn. <laughs> well, I, I mean, and I imagine they got a pretty good spike after for at least Hawaii because everybody is, like, furiously beating their meat. <laughs> it's like, yeah! I got nothing to worry about! <laughs> and that's the thing. Uh, at 823 a.m., uh, it dropped negative. It says negative 77. They put out a chart. Like, you got to, like, give it to Pornhub. Like, I don't know. Yeah, if they, guys, they take their they, shit seriously. Yeah, they got it a little even chart. Like with numbers, it's all like whoever does Pornhub's paperwork, the secretary, you're awesome. Uh, yeah, their social media accounts are hilarious too. <laughs> yeah, like it's great. So uh, around eight twenty three a.m., it went down at seventy seven fucking percent, and then uh, they released the uh, you know it was a fake warning around like eight fifty five a.m. Uh, something like that. So at nine oh one a.m., people are like, we're not gonna die anymore. And their traffic went from negative seventy seven percent all the way up to forty eight percent. So they they really were furiously beating. <laughs> yeah, me. they fucking they yanked one out so bad. And the funny thing is here is it drops off about nine thirty nine a.m. So it takes people about thirty nine minutes to masturbate. <laughs> Who are these people? I don't know. Dude. I got like a minute and a half of a good clip <laughs> with a good. It clip. reminds me of that guy we used to work with who used to. Uh, he would be upstairs beating his beating his schlong right, and he would call for his mom and try to finish before she got up there. I forget what that's called, but it's actually called something. They have a name for that. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's fuck. I forget the name of that. But yeah, like you said, you you're in your bedroom, you call for your mom, and then you try to see if you can blow your load before she comes in the door. <laughs> yeah, we used to work with a guy that used to play that game. <laughs> uh, Bruno's telling us to look up Henry Lee Lucas. Henry Lee Lucas is apparently a serial killer who confessed to killing up to 3,000 people. Oh, okay. But was convicted of just 11 homicides. Yikes. His confessions often contained inconsistencies. So he's full of shit on most of them. Yeah, that's why I said I think Wayne Gacy was uh, actually confirmed the most. The it highest, was, the highest yeah. confirmed Yeah, it was killer. like 200 and some that they found in his crawl space. Or man, I think it might even be higher than that. I think it's like 300 or something. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that I watched a movie and like it was like talking I about really, I really, I'm trying to find the name of that since you said it has a name. Um... I am really horrified of what Google thinks of me right now after my Google searches. <laughs> oh, my God. I just found an interesting story. It's from March. What? What do you mean? A teenager from North Carolina severed his mother's head. How <laughs> nice. That is not what I meant by whacked off. <laughs> Let's think you're talking about the mob. They whacked his head off. <laughs> uh, speaking about whacking off, uh, I guess it is possible to die from masturbating too much. Um, I was reading a lot about it, and it says that if you jerk off too much um, in one day, if you keep doing it, you know, the blood keeps, you know, coming away from your heart, and you have a heart attack. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm testing that theory. It's, it's, <laughs> that in some I, way. I've tested that theory. It's, <laughs> it's not true. What, you've masturbated like 60 times in a day? Oh, yeah. By the time I was done, pretty much a little flag came out and said, <laughs> bang. It's just like, you jack off enough, and it comes out like a fucking, fucking cloud of dust. Just, <laughs> it's like an air hose. <laughs> what a nice child. Yeah, that's Well, great. I can't I can't find the name of this and I'm 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 refusing to get more of this in my Google search Probably history. Just still looking at guys' heads whacked off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm still terrified that Barney the Dinosaur is a tantric sex guru. I know. That that fucking cracks me up, dude. But whatever. It's Ooh, whatever. Good. As long as he didn't harm anything, like we don't have what Hollywood's doing these days. <laughs> like just hey, hey, you have private parts, let me touch them. Hey, hey, what's that going on? It's just I don't know. It's fucking weird. <laughs> It's just we're coming to find out how fucking crazy Hollywood is. Like I said last week, I've never liked Hollywood. I always thought they were insane, and it's just oh, can, can we go back to the Barney thing? I, there's more to this story yeah, I didn't ahead. read. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is an actual quote from the guy who played Barney the dinosaur. Keep this in mind. Our our childhood's here. <laughs> when you go down on a woman, it should be just like you're saying grace. <laughs> like bless, blessing the food you're about to receive. Oh, Jesus Christ. No food in the world 
can compare to goddess nectar because spirit is involved. <laughs> goddess nectar. <laughs> Before you taste the goddess nectar, give thanks. Oh. Say grace. I would love women to understand how powerful that energy is. Oh my god, dude. Megan, if you're if you're still listening, uh next time I eat your pussy, I'm gonna pray to it. <laughs> and you have to refer to it as goddess nectar. Yeah. I'm gonna be like Dear God, thank you for this goddess nectar that you have provided for me today. Uh, <laughs> may it juice and come very graciously. Amen. <laughs> okay, so so the you can you can check his website out yourself. It's tantraharmony.com. It says uh, connecting your bi- mind, body, spirit together as one in perfect harmony, achieving a higher and more blissful state of awareness oh, <laughs> to your sexuality, who you are as a sexual being, spiritual being. Uh, for clients, this higher and more blissful state of awareness is often best achieved through penetrative, ideally unprotected sex. <laughs> Condoms, quote unquote, block the energy, he says, and he prefers not to use them. Oh, jeez. So now he's giving them on every, everyone STD. No, he says he provides his STD test results to prospective clients. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, that motherfucker better be checked like every five. I wonder if he does men. <laughs> he's, he, no, no. Women are the only ones. It says women that, are the only ones. Uh, uh, he, he, he asks them to disclose any STDs in a signed consent form. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I fucking love it. would require two forms of notary, what, notarized. What? What a fucking joke, dude! And man, like, wonder how many men are gonna use that now, like as a as a uh, you know excuse not to use condoms. Be like, have a one night stand, take her home. Be like, hey, baby, she be like, oh, here's a condom. He's like, no, it blocks the energy. <laughs> yeah, and, and remember, lingam is penis, and yoni is vagina. So lingam is that how you say it? lingam? L i n g a m. I don't know how you Doesn't say that it. Sounds I'm like a Swiss it. cheese. <laughs> it sounds like something that should connect something to something else. Yeah. What, what do you want on your cheese steak? I'll take some lingam. <laughs> Once the lingam is inside the yoni, there's a technique where you don't even move. You're harmonizing spiritually and consciously and you're looking into each other's eyes and you're feeling each other's energy take place oh, this is about Jesus. energy moving up yeah up 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 the head of his dick i i love eating pussy but this guy has me beat dude jesus christ like i really do like eating pussy like sometimes i crave eating it <laughs> i love it but this guy is on a whole nother level dude i bet she puts like a fucking bib on and shit and has silverware sitting there I mean, this guy, this guy is just just ridiculous. Uh, oh, Tuffy, it's not about the sander. I just got a different job, and I just don't have fucking time anymore during the day like I used to. Yeah, he has a job, different job now, and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, so. so that's probably going to be on hold, possibly indefinitely. We'll have to see. I'm sorry about that. I know that was a fun project, and I really was looking forward to doing it, but uh, just because my hours have changed significantly now, unless y'all motherfuckers start like signing up for that hundred dollar an episode shit, and then I won't have to work no more. I know <laughs> that'd be great. I don't want to work anymore. Give us money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that moving thing is called. I'm about to come too early, and she's gonna cry. Uh, cry is not usually what happens. It's more. <laughs> it's I'm more like, like women just have this stare when you fuck up in the bedroom. <laughs> It's like really? I've never, I've never gotten that stuff. Yeah. Okay. No, I swear to God, I, it's listen, you, listen to the sex it's master. It's usually because I have their fucking hair in my hands and their head in the pillow. The sex master <laughs> over here. I am sex master. Dab. <laughs> Don't you forget it. How do you get laid? You're <laughs> such a dork. <laughs> what me? I mean, I'm a dork fucking too, but heavyweight James Hetfield over here. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I, actually, to tell you the truth, I don't know how I get laid. <laughs> I don't I even. Do. I don't even get the the James Hetfield thing. I don't you look just like, look like him so much with that no, haircut, dude. Yeah, you do, dude. It's the hair. <laughs> it's the hair, man. I, I the glasses and everything like that. I just it makes you look like James Hetfield. Just, James Hetfield is like six four, man. Yeah, but like, you know, skinny. I've never really met the guy, so I can't like, hey, you know, based on height or whatever like that. But whatever. Are you James Hetfield? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, his curves. Yeah, uh, Megan. <laughs> Megan likes the shape of my penis. Uh, not his, ever, like that. His everywhere. curves. Oh, so so your dick curves. Uh, no, it doesn't. You got she, that fish hook thing? No, on? she no. Uh, she just says it. it it's the. I have a nice penis, she says. Let's just put it that way. And I and I make a joke and say she just likes me for the cur like the you know the way my penis is because it says it hits her in the right spot. I don't know. 
<laughs> but let's stop talking about my penis. <laughs> Anytime we're, we're we're talking about your penis, I, I die a little inside. <laughs> the fish hook thing. No, I don't. I don't. You mean though? Like you watch some porns and this guy has like Gonzo's nose going on and shit like that. No, I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Craig can tell you some stories. Yeah. Uh, another story I wanted to cover. It's not really a story, but I, I, I poke around on Reddit a lot. And uh, I bet you do. Yeah. On Reddit, there's just, you know, it's like the YouTube. Like when you're on YouTube and you get to the weird dark side of YouTube where you see all the pimple popping videos and everything like that. Well, I, I got into uh, a thread about conspiracies. Of course you did. <laughs> and, okay, um, Alex. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not funny. And this one was just fucking hilarious. Uh, someone asked the question on Reddit, what conspiracy theory do you 100% buy into and why? And I didn't even realize this was a conspiracy, but I guess it is. I'll tell you which one that I believe in. <laughs> I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Preach, Alex, preach. <laughs> um, so... There's this conspiracy theory that Disney never died, or when he was about to die, they froze him. Yeah. They, you never heard that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm, I'm just, if no one ever has heard that, there's a conspiracy that when Walt Disney was about to die, they froze him so, you know, he can come back, whatever. Uh, family Guy actually makes fun of him, fun of that in an episode. They unfreeze him and he wakes up and he's like, are the Jews gone yet? And they're like, no. And he's like, put me back in. <laughs> put me back in. Um, so... Someone answered, and, like, my mind just, like, exploded when I read this. Um, so someone answered to what conspiracy theory do you have 100% buy into and why? Disney's Frozen, the movie, is only titled like that. So when you Google Disney's Frozen, the movie comes up instead of the conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. It gets deeper. Of course. The most memorable song. First we go from your dick, and then we're talking about how it gets deeper. And then another guy goes, think about it. They even have a song called Let It Go. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm woke. I, I, I was pooping. I was pooping when I was reading this, and I, I just looked up. I'm like, I can't even argue with that. <laughs> it's one of those where you start laughing so hard it ends up being a power squeeze. <laughs> and I was just like, I thought I broke a blood vessel in my eye from laughing so hard. Because I was just like, I can't argue with that. I can't argue with any of that. Cause, I'm woke. <laughs> cause it's, woke as fuck. Because <laughs> it's true. You type in Disney's F Disney Frozen. And nothing comes up about the conspiracy. It's all the movie. And I'm just like, who has time for this? I just don't get it, dude. Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, I got nothing. I got, <sighs> normally, I'm pretty good at you debunking your conspiracy bullshit that you come up with. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. Oh, man, that's so funny. It, it, it reminds me of the meme, like the guy that's eating the cereal, and he's like, you know, oh, that will never happen. And it just shows him shooting the cereal out. It reminds me of that because I just I can't argue with that <laughs> at all, dude. <laughs> like, if that – that's like – I got nothing. It's like if that was really the case, I would I would just die. That's like that whole you know old myth that E. T. for Atari was such a bad game they buried it and people are like well, they did yeah well people were like we're going out and they dug it up and actually found the cartridges and they're like see we were I played lying. it it's bad oh, it's but horrible it's fucking it's horrible. bad but it's not that bad yeah it shouldn't know. have been like I I've seen worse I mean the fucking Atari port of Pac Man's worse than that <laughs> but anyway <laughs> uh. <laughs> I loved Atari, dude. My favorite was River Raid. You know what I love about Atari? Hmm. The sound effects. Oh, yeah. It's like, great. Like, the fucking the sound effects of shit blowing up was the greatest. Oh, yeah. It just had that... <laughs> sound. It was great. Oh, man. They could only do, like, four sound effects, but... Oh, yeah. That's probably because, you know, memory issues and all that shit. But I guess right now at Target... You can buy this little handheld thing. Oh, yeah, they've had them forever. Yeah, and it's like 60 bucks, and it has like all these Atari games on it. And if you want to, it's chargeable like a cell phone. It's not like a mini D Nintendo DS or something like that. And then you can plug it to your TV and play it. You can get joysticks for it. And oh, yeah. Everything's it, USB. I mean, they've been making those kind of systems for years. There's like a, a couple of Sega Genesis ones floating around. Yeah. There's even one that's... Um, what I like about it is it, it's a Sega Genesis one. It has a bunch of built-in games, mm -hmm. but it also has a cartridge slot. So you can buy Sega games and put That's them in awesome. and play it. 
That's uh, awesome. It comes with these pathetically awful wireless six-button Sega controllers, though. I, I was a Sega guy. You know what? I, I'm going to talk a little retro game here because that's my deal. Um, uh, I loved Sega. I bought totally into the fucking marketing hype. <laughs> I was so... Oh, my God. You know, the whole uh, Sega does what Nintendo don't. Yeah. I bought into it so bad. <laughs> like, I believed... In my heart of hearts, that Sega was the cool console and Nintendo was for nerds. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Honestly, back at now, I, I play way more SNES games than I do Sega games. But is it because they're better or is it because I didn't have them growing up? I, I don't know. I played everything. Like uh, for regular Nintendo, Mario Brothers, um, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Tecmo Super Bowl. I, I played so much Mike Tyson's Punch Out and Time with Super Bowl. I, I couldn't even imagine how many hours I put out of that. Uh, Super Nintendo, I loved it. I played Doom, St Super Street Fighter, lots of Super Street Fighter. I didn't like playing fighting games on the SNES because of the button configuration. Yeah, it was Like weird. the six button Sega controller is uh -huh. perfect for fighting yeah. games. Um, and Real then on Sega, I played Sonic. Loved Sonic. Oh, Sonic's the uh, fucking Mutant best. League Football, Mutant League Hockey. Mutant League Hockey wasn't as good as football, but it was still fun. You get trapped in the ice and shit like that. A lot of Madden. For uh, Sega. You know what else is a really great Sega game? Uh, was was Eternal up, Champions. I don't think I've ever heard of that. It was a, a fighting game, but it wasn't an arcade ported to the to the uh, Sega. Mm -hmm. It was designed specifically for Sega. Oh, okay. It was really good. You know, they yeah, they were kind of riding in on the Mortal Kombat wave, uh -huh. but the characters were great. They were all... You know how, oh, sorry. You know how most of the uh, the the fighting games have a like a bad guy, uh -huh. an evil person. Well, this took place with different people in history, uh, that they were all saved from dying right before they were about to die, but they all had a fate, a history where they 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 were going to affect something, okay. change things for the better. All right. And uh, all these different characters were there, like. Uh, there's this uh, carnival bitch who was trying to like this carnival bitch. Hey, yo, bitch! Yeah, <laughs> was Legacy uh, Legacy of Kane Genesis game? No, I don't believe that was that was I think PlayStation. I played a lot of Mortal Kombat two on Sega and Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat two was my favorite. Oh yeah, they were. Amazing. You know how I kicked your yeah, ass you, in that a while back? Chink kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked your fucking ass, dude. I played a lot of. Fighting I won a games. couple times. I won a couple times. I uh, I I would. You know what? I love RPGs though. That's where Nintendo has uh, has Sega oh, yeah. beat to oh, hell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I I just I played everything, dude. I just video games are just amazing to me. I love them. I still love them. They're amazing. Uh, I wish I had an old Nintendo. I might look for one because I just I love them. They're just so much fun. And games were hard. Um, and there was like no save points really. So like, no. If you fucked up, you fucked up. You know what I mean? Complicated and, passwords. There's a lot of bad Nintendo games though too. Oh yeah, of course there is. Um, but it's just I don't know. I love it. I love everything about it. Uh, speaking of that, since we're talking about video games, they're remaking NBA Jam. Nice. Ugh. I played so much NBA Jam on Sega. It was just so such a fun game because you would just you would try to do so good you would get on fire and then you would just do these fucking crazy dunks and shit like the jelly roll. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love that game and and back in the day like when you found out a password because there was no internet you know what I mean yeah yeah so yeah. so when you found out a password to be Bill Clinton or someone else or you yeah, know it was he, a, yeah it was a huge fucking one of your deal. freaking friends would tell you about it yeah it was amazing you know what um. There's a lot of cryptic bullshit video games out there. Like, I, I like to play a lot of old Nintendo games just for fun. I'm, I'm actually going to start streaming a few of them. I know I've mentioned that before. I just haven't had time in the last couple of weeks. I know. I I, I'm, I think I want to, too. Especially, no, like, some WoW and stuff like that. Well, if anyone I'm, else plays WoW, we can, you know, do some shit together on it. Right. Well, I'm going to do retro games because, as Greg says, I'm a hipster, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, like, for example, for cryptic bullshit games, like... The Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. It was so cryptic, but for some reason that game never never frustrated me. But there's so many other games that, that are out there that were That's just weird cryptic that bullshit. That's like, weird that Zelda never frustrated. That that game, like especially like some of the, the ones that came out for like GameCube and shit were really no, complex. Well yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about the original Legend of Zelda. Okay. But it's like, you know, like that ridiculous shit in Castlevania two. If you ever play Castlevania two, um, there's like this one part where you have to like crouch down at a wall. Uh huh. You're you're like at this dead end. You don't know what to do. 
So you have to crouch down at this wall, holding a certain item, and wait for like 30 seconds, and this fucking tornado comes yeah. and carries you away. Because anybody would have thought of that. <laughs> hey, I'm in a castle. Of course there's tornadoes. But, and then you've got like, you know, Legend of Zelda, where you like, you have to burn the fucking third bush on the left. <laughs> I know. That's but that I'm never saying. bothered me. See, I can't believe that, because that shit is so frustrating. Yeah, like you said. like I think have- because that game was, first off, more popular. Yeah. I think a lot of schoolmates and shit would talk about it on like in school uh-huh. and you'd learn the secrets that mm-hmm. way yeah and, that, and there was nintendo power yeah and that's and that's the thing if you didn't have like the pokemon games they're sort of like that uh and if you didn't have a the nintendo power magazine and you had nowhere close to you that sold them you had to figure out everything yourself and i remember that you know because you would have to like oh you have to get this fucking pokemon to learn cut so you cut this fucking bush down that's the size of a toothpick that you can't walk past for some reason or like you have to do uh you have to figure out the cure for aids to get this bicycle to like go somewhere it was crazy you know what i mean and we didn't have the internet so it was like you had to figure it out yourself and some of the shit was crazy <laughs> you know like, what, uh, you know it's another game that's just bullshit hard hmm. ghosts and goblins that game is oh. bullshit hard. <laughs> and you know what's one of my biggest pet peeves with Ghosts and Goblins? Is rather than make the game longer, uh-huh. and yet again, this is another thing that Zelda did that <laughs> didn't bother me. But anyway, rather than make the game longer, after the first time you beat it, which is a feat in it of itself... Then it says, oh, well, you have to do this again to win the game. <laughs> so you have to play through the whole thing twice. Rather than make... Rather than make, like, eight good levels, they yeah. make four good levels and make you do them twice. See, that's the way Diablo was. Uh, Diablo 2 and stuff like that. You would beat the four acts. There was, they called them acts. It was mm-hmm. a pretty good storyline. And then there was another difficulty called Nightmare. So you had to beat them all again. And then after that, there was another difficulty called Hell. <laughs> so it was like they just recycled shit like that. And it got, like, really fucking hard. Well, with The Legend of Zelda, though, there, there again, you beat the whole thing. And then you get a second quest. But at least they had the decency to change up stuff, yeah. like like the temples and shit mm-hmm. weren't in the same place. Okay, cool. But <laughs> with Ghosts and Goblins, it's just you play through it and then you do the whole thing again. Yeah, see that? Yeah, fucking that, key. That was a lot of ways to recycle gaming and stuff like that and get more, you know, play value or whatever. It's just weird because every time I beat a woman, you know, I get nothing. <laughs> Domestic abuse is right. not funny. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, I want to take a moment to talk about our sponsor, who definitely does not break up or beat women. <laughs> they are Private Internet Access, which is a VPN service, virtual private networking service. If you care about your privacy online. I thought you were going to say, do you care about your privates? <laughs> <laughs> do you care about your privates? Do you want to beat it to to horrible porn and you don't want the government coming down and like the NSA agents looking at you horrified as they're spying on you through your webcam? Then you want to use a VPN to protect yourself. And the best VPN that I know of is Private Internet Access. Not only do they give you a VPN that runs on Linux, that runs on Macs, that runs on PCs, they also will even for free throw in a Sox 5 proxy, which you can plug into uTorrent, <clears throat> amongst <laughs> other things. And uh, I love Private Internet Access. I've been using it for years. Uh, if you want to get in on it, it's only a few bucks a month, uh, but if you want to get in on it and uh, maybe get a couple bucks kicked back our way, you can go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn and sign up through that link, and they'll kick us a couple bucks back, which we greatly appreciate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we would. Uh, so that, again, is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Mm-hmm. So if you get a chance, you want a VPN, you want some privacy online, and you you know don't want us to go out and suck dick for coke money, <laughs> sign up to that link and help us out. Yes, uh, Megan says it. Casey enjoys beating women. Uh, that's not funny. Thirty percent of women uh, suffer from domestic abuse. That means seventy percent of men are doing their job. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that means seventy percent enjoy the hell out of it. <laughs> Uh, and Greg <laughs> says, uh, but you would absolutely play again because those games were awesome, unlike Diablo 3. Uh, the funny thing is, is I still play Diablo 3 when I'm bored because it's still fun. Um, but the funny thing is, is I went back to Diablo 2 
Diablo 2 is still fun, but it's so slow. <laughs> like, uh, in Diablo 2, you have a stamina bar, and if it goes down, you have to walk, and you can't run anymore. Diablo 3 doesn't have that, and it's so fucking annoying. <laughs> I fucking well, hate it. I mean, Greg's right, though. Like, those old-school NES games and shit, they were bullshit hard, but they were so rewarding when you actually finally conquered Oh, them. yeah. That's like that one game in Mario Brothers, the first one. Uh, in one of the last dungeons... Uh, there's a pattern to it that you have to go through it, and if not, it just keeps repeating, and it goes on forever, and you run out of time. And and I'm, I still remember the pattern. It's bottom first, up, bottom, and then middle. I bet you know a lot about bottoming. <laughs> I do, baby. Um, and <laughs> then you finally, Bowser shows up, and you kill him. And I remember mm -hmm. that that was before the internet. We had to figure that out by ourselves, but it was like, I was fucking like fist pumping and shit. There was like 80s montage music going on. I was like shooting champagne all over the place. It was amazing. <laughs> it was fucking amazing. I loved it, but it was so much fun. You're right, though. You, sh you We should start streaming more video games and I, stuff like I'm that. I'm definitely going to start doing that more. I, I'm probably going to bring it under my Theaterverse banner for my game streaming and shit because uh, I really need to kind of, like, revamp that. I actually have people that follow me and are signed up to my newsletter and shit, and uh -huh. I haven't posted anything in over a there. year. Uh, I know uh, at some point, I don't know if anyone's interested in chat, but, uh, like, late at night, say, it'd probably be, like, 3, 2 in the morning. I don't know. Because this sleep. motherfucker doesn't sleep. Yeah, I don't sleep. But, I don't know, it'd be cool to just uh, get on here and just be me and I'd do, like, a QA and a or something like that. We could talk about anything. I don't give a fuck. It can yeah, be... as long as we're not uh, uploading it to iTunes. No, whatever. and that's no, the thing. No we won't be uploading it to iTunes or anything, so we can talk about anything. I don't care. I'll talk about... You know, maybe politics. I don't know yet. <laughs> but uh, I don't really like talking about politics because I don't like them. But, uh, yeah, uh, do like a Q&A or something like that. And I do want to play some video games. Um, I already have uh, OBS on my computer out there that I play WoW on. I would just need to hook the camera up. Or maybe I wouldn't even need a camera. Maybe just microphone and talk to you guys and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we have about ten minutes left. I do have one more story to cover. Oh, good. Because um, I was just trying to fill in time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my favorite discussion. Feminism. <laughs> my favorite thing in the world. Um, it's not... It's not really feminism connected to it, but you can tell the way this woman's talking. She, you know, has the shaved side of the head. You know, she's I hate that. Yeah, looking at me more than five seconds is rape. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a joke for you, real quick. Oh, good. Uh, you, you're gonna love this. We we gotta do it before we get started. All right. So uh, so the optimist said this glass of water is half full. The pessimist says this ha glass of water is half empty. The realist says it's half a glass of water. The feminist says this glass of water is raping me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, go, go Every, ahead. Everything's rape with a feminist. Go ahead. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I ordered McDonald's number two, and they gave me number three, rape. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, uh, they just gave me the number two, but they gave it to me with the eyes. Yeah, yeah they didn't give me extra fries. They gave me extra rape. <laughs> uh, so apparently this guy on a plane fell asleep. Uh, when he fell asleep, he got an erection. Of course. <laughs> uh, because, you know, we can control it. And it's pretty funny because this woman goes uh, in depth uh, on how you can control orgas or boners. Uh, man, asleep. This woman has never had a boner, yeah, apparently. I know. And that's the funny thing. Like, this woman's telling men, you know, about boners, and she has no clue what kind of. I don't claim to see. these things are. I don't claim to understand <laughs> how boobs work. Yeah, well, kind of. But that's the funny thing about this is you have all these feminists, you know, doing these naked marches, uh, breastfeeding kids in public and be like, oh, it's completely natural. But a man gets a boner. It's fucking rape. <laughs> I don't know about you, but a fucking swift breeze blows the wrong way. I I, like half yeah, I know, man. I'm 35, fucking, so it doesn't pop up like it used to. You but... fucking read my dick a story. It might get a boner. <laughs> like, who fucking knows, dude? <laughs> or fall asleep. But uh, man asleep with erection now being accused of sexual misconduct. So people are flipping out about it. So this fucking side shaved head cunt gets on here and goes, that's because it is sexual misconduct. And this is her explaining why. It this is, is a comment on a story? Yes. Okay. It is possible to train. This is a woman. Uh, it is possible to train your body not to be a raging hormonal creep to your fellow passengers. Everyone on board the plane bought a ticket to be transported safely from point A to point B, which includes being safe from sexual misconduct. If Dude I, was asleep, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, just, just trying to understand here. If I buy a t plane ticket, I'm not voluntarily foregoing my rights and saying it's okay for you to show off your erection. Get a grip. 
It, it, it might be possible to train yourself to not get erections at night, just like it may be possible to train cats, you know, to herd chickens. But <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make it a fucking easy thing to do. And, and, and like I said, this is the thing that pisses me off. All the women, all oh, you can show your boobs in public, breastfeed, all, oh, you know, show their vaginas off in public because it's just skin. But a man gets an erection. I, I oh, haven't seen that. No, oh, yeah, they have slut marches, they're called. It's when, yeah, but when, I, I've never seen people just wal- waltzing straight naked down the road. Oh, yeah, they do it all the time. It's I mean, unless they're marches. drunk. No, it's called slut marches, these women. Or or it's called closing time at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> these women, they get naked, they have parades, they write slut across their chest, and they try to free the titty or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But, you know, I support boner. that movement. Yeah, because they're like, it's natural, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I wholeheartedly agree. Rock on, sisters. <laughs> but when a man gets you're, a natural... You're welcome to walk out naked all you want. But when a man gets a natural boner, it's fucking horrible so then she starts talking again um it's on reddit so she's like minus 200 karma dropping thanks you guys uh and then she keeps saying for those who keep asking how do you prevent erections while you're sleeping there's numerous studies on this topic but i'll summarize some briefly so she she wants you to go out of your way all right the dude was asleep you can't control what you So, so by chance sometime you get on a plane all right. She wants you to dedicate to your life to doing this. So sometimes when you get on a plane, you won't get a boner. <laughs> okay. What is the, her solution? Uh, I'm meditate. Curious. All right. She wants you to meditate. You know what we will you know, med- That works for everybody. You know what we would meditate about? What? Sex. <laughs> I know. Uh, estrogen supplements. So she wants you to take estrogen, which uh, when men take it, they grow boobs. Bunch of weird shit. Okay. A vegan diet. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you would like that. Yeah, well, of course, a vegan diet takes away your manhood. So, hey, change your whole life just so you naturally, you know, naturally something doesn't happen to you. Uh, or here's a thought. Don't look at the guy's dick. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Heck, if you absolutely must, put your penis in a chastity. If it means a small kid won't have to see you hard while you take a nap. <laughs> I don't make this shit up. Here's a better idea. Ask the stewardess for a uh, pillow and just yeah. slap it on top of Cap and Winky. Like uh, that's the thing. If a guy had a boner next to me, I'd take a picture of it and tweet it. <laughs> I'd be like, "Hey, this guy's a boner next to me." Exactly, Greg. That's what I'm saying. Also, why is this bitch looking at this dude's yeah, dick? Exactly. Uh, you know, she probably enjoyed it. She's probably one of those fucking fifty secret Fifty Shades of Grey uh, readers. You know, because like when that came out. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, when that came out, they did a study of uh, the most bought books, and it was all the Bible Belt. Of that, course. That is where they sold well, it's the most. Well, because they're a bunch of sexually repressed Yeah, losers. exactly. And that's probably what this girl was. And she, you know, saw it and was like, oh, Jesus. It's why, like, the, the Bible Belt and the Christian right is uh, super supporting a guy who says, you know what? I grab women by the pussy. <laughs> and see, this is why people. they're just as dirty as anybody else, yeah. man. See, this is why I don't take feminism seriously. It's a joke. That's why everything, I don't take uh, Christians seriously either. Yeah, Same thing. It's it's everything that you know. It do, it doesn't empower women. It it does. It just makes you look fucking stupid. Because like I said, uh, you know, there's numerous marches for free the titties. Blah blah blah. Oh, um, I support that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm still saying. I uh, because free and that's the their thing. They're like, it's natural to be naked and blah blah. blah. A guy sure gets a is. natural boner. It's a big fucking deal. And it's just like, whatever, bitch. Go kill yourself. Eat some fucking Tide Pods. <laughs> like don't no that, that's no that's the big thing these days and and you know what that's why i don't want to that's why i feel I'm like not, i don't want to pay for anyone's health care i'm not you justifying are eating tie pods i'm not justifying <laughs> that 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 movement that meme whatever you call i'm not even justifying. oh it's not a meme though. No, we're not talking about it there's numerous yeah, there's like, you know what though it you was know like they're vaping it now yeah of course they are <laughs> you know what it was like five people Five people did it. Like and of course the media jumped all over it. Oh no, it's more than five. Trust me. There's there's hours and hours and hours of YouTube videos of people doing it. it it's it's out of control. <laughs> it is fucking and now they're vaping it. Uh they're smoking it. Um <laughs> I know. Uh it's getting to the point where grocery stores are putting them behind locked doors now. Oh great. So it'll be there with the razors next to Yeah, time exactly. That's where they See, are. That's why I don't shave. <laughs> you lock up the razors, I don't shave. Um it's just, it's just funny. I don't know. Uh, and that's the thing. Uh, I see a lot of people bitching about not getting their way. Motherfuckers are eating Tide Pods. I don't care anymore. <laughs> like, I just... And and the funny thing is, is all these people eating Tide Pods and shit like that, I gave up on the human race. I don't care anymore. When I hear people bitching about rights and politics and stuff, you know motherfuckers are eating Tide Pods. <laughs> I don't care anymore. You don't People just- are actually eating Tide Pods. Nobody's... No, not really anybody's swallowing them. They think it's cute to, like, puncture them with their mouth. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Some are eating them. 
and, and well, those people died. Yeah. So and, <laughs> you know, and you know, and like I said, some guy vaped it. Some guy smoked some, and uh, it's just like your boss. Fun. Your boss told you about that. No, he ain't kidding. There, there's idiots <laughs> doing it. You know what I did with Tide Pods today? What? I did laundry. I know. I, I got the gain ones. Gain. Yeah, I got gain flings. Yep. You know, gain gives me unnatural boners. <laughs> I, I was actually, I was actually at the grocery store this morning, uh, buying laundry detergent. Because, uh, you know, some fucking uh, college-age kids decided to bust in steel mine to, to film themselves on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so I went and I bought some, and I'm like, they're all on sale. All of them were on sale. Really? I bet you they're just trying to get rid of them. Like, I want these out of oh, my you store. You know, the funny thing is, is I've never seen so many commercials for Tide Pods and Gain Pods in my life. They're advertising it. I guarantee it. Every it seems like on Adult Swim every other fucking episode's either a Gang Pod or like a Tide Pod. On and I'm Adult just like, Swim, of course. I'm I don't, like they're I don't advertising have, the fuck out of it. I don't have TV <laughs> right now. I will in a couple of days though. Yeah, because you think a kid, okay, he's got he's like, oh, I want to be, you know, I want attention because my parents don't give it to me because you know whatever. So I'm gonna buy some Tide Pods and I'm gonna eat one. So Tide's like, yeah, he's he's never gonna do anything with the rest of those Tide Pods, but he's still gonna buy them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like advertise, advertise, advertise. I wonder what Tide stock is right now. You know what I love about I those if things? It's up. What's up? I, I th- probably. <laughs> you know what I love about those things? Honestly, what? Because I have a habit of overpouring the detergent, oh, yeah. and I have one of those high efficiency washers. And if mm-hmm. you do that shit, it takes forever to wash. Yeah. Gain gain flings or Tide pods is great. Just throw one in and go. You know. I know, and that's what it I keeps like about it. Keeps me from doing stupid shit. Detergent like is really messy. It's also expensive. Yeah, it is expensive, and I hate it. My mom got me a case of Tide Pods for Christmas, and I love them because you just flick, you know, two in, and you know, those things are expensive as shit. But I bet you, I actually save money buying those because, like I said, I I tend to pour too yeah. much detergent. And that's the thing, detergent's messy. You pour it, your hands get all sticky and shit like that. It's like you know, masturbate to an unnatural boner <laughs> on an airplane. Um, <laughs> Tuffy's woman says people eat and smoke in Tide Pods, a Cheeto in the White House. I've lost all hope for humanity. <laughs> I thought you I, and me both, sister. I saw the word Cheeto and I was like, people smoking Cheeto dust. <laughs> one, one, people are cracking, uh, drying out bed bugs and smoking it, so it wouldn't fucking surprise me. <laughs> well, yeah. protein. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I guess uh, bed bugs have a toxin in them, and when you smoke it, it gets you high. Of course they do. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a little venom, I guess. It's nothing deadly, but it's enough that if you smoke it, you get high. Those people and their fucking vices, how dare them. I know, and that's the thing. Like, everyone has a waiting, but I, I just feel like with the internet, people are trying to fight attention. <laughs> people like, and their vices. Yeah. Whatever happened to your e-cigarette, I see you stopped. I had to get juice, and for some reason, when I'm trying to buy juice online, my credit card, um, because they ha- through your credit card, they verify your age, and they can't verify it for some reason, so I can't order any. So I have to go to a fucking uh, store, and I just I keep forgetting. I'm busy. My my girl Megan's got me busy all the time. <laughs> give Megan money, make her order. Them. No, uh, I'm fine. I'm sure she. Will. I do it for you. Just give me the money. I'll no, I actually I, I haven't had a lot of time as it is. I'm always busy. Like I always have to keep my mind active because I'm crazy. Uh, but you know I hang out with Megan a lot now, and it's just like I have no time to do anything <laughs> anymore. I'm not complaining, Megan. I like hanging out life. with you. I like hanging out with you. I oh, cooked. God, no. He has a social life. I, I cooked her dinner last night. It was amazing. <laughs> I cooked Does her. Does your arm hurt from packing yourself, <laughs> packing yourself on the back? Oh, it, it, I'm, I'm not his slave. I didn't. I didn't insinuate that. I just meant that I'm <laughs> sure you would have done it. She is, but only at certain points. <laughs> um uh, I'm just. We're, we're I'm sure naked. if you had, he had given you money, you'd be more than willing to order his e juice, right? <laughs> uh, that, Jesus Christ, women give are. Give me sensitive. that goddess nectar. <laughs> that goddess ne- <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I made her uh, co- chicken cordon bleu and bruschetta last night, um, and she enjoyed it. So it does sound good. You think I don't appreciate her? I do. Thank you for not saying bruschetta. Brisketta. I had to fucking annoy me. Fuck you, bruschetta. You're not Italian. <laughs> Knock it all off. Beep it, pop it, boop it. Hey. <laughs> It's like unless you're Italian as fuck, you don't get to call uh, pasta sauce gravy either. <laughs> pasta sauce. They call it tomato gravy. Oh my god, that is real so, Italians. That do. is so Italian. Just forget your papers; it'll be even more Italian. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think we gotta wrap this yeah, up. Though we're done. It's it's about time. Uh, thanks to everyone. Thanks to our sponsor. Um, uh, yeah, and seriously though, um, if you guys like what we're doing, we would love to start seeing some more faces in the chat here. Share us with your friends. Uh, tell us, uh, tell us with all the de- degenerates that you know. Uh, we're trying to trying to expose ourselves to the world, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <with> our, <laughs> kind of like Harvey Weinstein <laughs> with our unnatural boat. 
<laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you all next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Have a good one. See you later. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>